no, 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 I don't know why Piers pretended to not like them. They're bloody delicious. I don't know what the hell the universe is playing at right now, but I'm about to review a broccoli. Having an interview with Piers Morgan. That's what I'm about to do. Just want to say a couple of words and draw attention to this. <laughs> interesting scenario. I heard about this quite late. I heard people expressing quite the upset because uh, yeah this guy was saying I, I'm just a humble broccoli. I don't know science. <laughs> and arguing on behalf of animal rebellion which is a subset of Extinction Rebellion. As you may know Extinction Rebellion is focusing on environmental impact and climate change and trying to be rebellious in order to draw attention to it. Weirdly though they just don't like mention animal agriculture, you know being vegan. It's not part of their memo. In fact there's even a subset of Extinction Rebellion that is pro-animal agriculture. They're like farmers. Animal ag farmers. Uh, bizarre. So Animal Rebellion was set up and they kind of work in in unison to some degree it's just that Animal Rebellion pays attention to something that is hugely contributing to climate change and the destruction of our environment and that's Animal Agriculture. How many times am I gonna say Animal Agriculture? How many times? So this broccoli man speaks on behalf of Animal Rebellion and uh, I have some mixed reviews about it. I would show you clips. I would. But ITV would come down on me like the plague. You know, it wouldn't even be a case of not monetizing me. I'm not monetized on this channel, so it doesn't matter. They would fully just get rid of the video. Okay, so go check it out yourself. I'll leave a link below in the description. But essentially, yeah, this broccoli offers nothing to the table really except humor. And he's almost acting like a like an empty platform. Like, oh, by the way, let's take a moment to talk about climate change, but not actually really talk about it because I'm just a broccoli. Now I get it to a degree, I do understand. Humour is very important. Humour helps us on a personal level overcome things that are overwhelming and the destruction of the planet, you know, the collapse of ecosystems and the, the, the death of trillions of sentient beings, that's minutely heavy. And as you may know, if you've followed me for an extended period of time, I do try and be quite lighthearted and humorous. So I fully understand the, the, the method here. Just a shame. It would have been good if when Piers asked questions and Susanna asked questions that he had them ready. There's a humorous way to convey information and when you got something so important as this, would it, it would have been great to see a bit more. <laughs> there was a headline saying that Piers was angry but I feel like Susanna was angrier. She was like you've got this platform why would you use it you know like this when it's something so important to talk about. That, that is the bit I want to talk about the most right. That's the bit that caused me to be like oh really? Susanna read, Susanna read you beautiful beautiful woman right. <sighs> uh, look special place in my heart but what are you doing? Piers as well, Piers is worse right but can we not see the problem here? If you watch the video you can see how they're getting quite angry, disappointed in this person that instead of talking about something that's incredibly serious, drawing attention to something that would be so important for people to implement in their lives in order to prevent disastrous things from happening, or put it off at least. They're there getting really stressed that he's doing that, but they do not lift a finger. Piers in fact opposes veganism. He opposes its potential, but then they talk to this broccoli, for God's sake. <laughs> they talk to him as if like, come on, like, this is your chance, tell us, tell us what we already know, tell us that veganism is better for the climate than animal agriculture, tell us about the devastating impact that animal agriculture has on the planet, tell us now, come on why aren't you telling us? Which I find highly frustrating because they have that platform all the time. It's like they know 
but because we like controversy, because we like to see arguments, they're just being contrarians for the sake of it. If that is the case, then is that not absolutely evil? They're getting visibly stressed that he won't just say his piece, that he won't just say what they seem to already know. Like, come on, you've got this platform, like, we're giving you a chance to tell us all about veganism and all about climate change and how these two things correlate, right? Why aren't you saying anything? It's like, you two, you're cheeky. Susanna's not as bad, and you can see that she does, when Piers is saying things against a vegan, she does press him and point out when he's being unfair, or when he's blowing things out of proportion, straw manning, etc. She does do that right? But she also has opposed veganism. She's ha made arguments against it, which are pretty ridiculous. But they'll sit there and get really frustrated with someone who had an opportunity to talk about something really important. Yet, they have that platform all the time. I would kill for a platform like that. And <laughs> like, what on earth? What on earth? I don't even know where to to go with it, right? I think the broccoli thing is its quite frustrating. I see the humour in it to some degree. I, I don't know. I think there's a better way to be humorous about this sort of thing. You know, throwing in the information while being humorous, not being too absurd because then people just see us as even more of a joke. It's just probably not a good idea. I'm really hoping that it was perceived positively and people could see that he was messing about. He did come out and reveal his actual identity and said, you know, they should actually have scientists on the show. And he did point that out when he was being interviewed, which does demonstrate a point. And I, I, I think it wasn't conveyed as successfully as it possibly could have been. You know, like he's saying, look, I'm just like a broccoli. You know, why aren't you actually bringing scientists on who can talk about this? Because like, I'm a joke. You guys are a joke. You need to like bring on people who can actually talk about this. Um, you know, because climate change, um, there's a lot of science behind it. There's a lot of science behind the environment and the impacts that uh, it's going through currently and how human interference um, is affecting it. That is something that they need to bring in a professional to talk about. So I, I do understand his point. I understand why he's doing that. Unfortunately, though, when we look at the typical Good Morning Britain viewer, are they gonna understand the art behind that? Especially when it's called Good Morning Britain. So that would tell you that it's the morning. Nobody's brain is working in the morning, okay? Nobody's brain. So from an artistic perspective, I admire it. I see the point of it, you know, it wasn't lost on me, but will it be lost on the viewers of Good Morning Britain? Will they see this as a joke? Will they see vegans as absolute weirdos who have banana phones? Probably, you know? I don't know what else to say. It was just pretty bizarre, you know? It was just pretty bizarre. I think we need to incorporate various methods. Don't know how successful this one is. I think humour absolutely does need to be brought to the table. And Piers even agreed. He said, yeah, actually, like, you know, I, I do want people coming on who um, are looking at this in a more light-hearted manner, you know, aren't so serious and ridiculous, even though he is seriously ridiculous. So, you don't know how that... You know. In conclusion, put me on Good Morning Britain, okay? I'd like to just have a little discussion with Piers. I'd love that. I think that would make my life, actually. You know? Thank you ever so much for watching me on my second channel, Flamore. If you don't know, I have a main channel called The Flem Face. I'll leave a link below in the description. As always, you can check out my main stuff. Share this out with a lad who you think might appreciate the vegan content. I do hope you're well. And until next time, you know, I'll see you soon. Maybe a bit too soon. Bye.